Hi everyone, thank you so much for being with me today. So you've seen some of the recent designs I've done where I've wanted to try and get movement into a piece. And it's all open to interpretation, but I kind of saw mountains and waves. I'm gonna link the colored piece just here so you can see which piece that I'm discussing and which piece I'm trying to recreate today, but using a different color palette. So I'm gonna keep the white base and I'm going to do copper, um, silver, gold, and I'm going to do kind of that, that same mountain wave design that I, I tried to do last time. I've not worked with this colour palette on this type of design before, so I'm excited to see if this one turns out. So I'm going to use a long uh, canvas, a 40 inch by 20 inch, and yeah, I'm excited. So let's see what we can create. Okay, so let me just go through some of the colours. This is a, um, a silver hue colour. And then I'm using a metallic iridescent copper. That one is by Pabo. And then this is a rich gold hue colour. That's by System 3 Acrylic. And then I've got some Arteza colours. So I've got the uh, Pearl Copper Gold, the Aztec Gold and the Bronze. So here are those colours mixed up. So that's the Bronze. The Aztec Gold. Really like this colour. And then the pearl copper gold. They're all quite rich colours and I hope that they go well together. And then I've got the titanium white base and that's going to be, uh, that's Montmartre brand. And because I'm using different brands I find that I can create cells and lacing by using those different brands together. I've also mixed up a, uh, a Payne's Grey because I'd like to just get a little bit of contrast when I'm um, blowing out the base colours. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that throughout. Okay. Okay, so I'm using the Loxley Gold branded canvas. Deep Edge, I'm a big fan of those here in the UK. Um, this is my go-to canvas. So I'm doing a 40 inch by 16 inch, and I'm gonna try and create that kind of movement that I had in those previous uh, pieces using those, those colors that I've already uh, described. I will link all of those in the description. So I'm just now going to lay the base coat and this is the bit that I really need to make sure I get right. I don't want too much base coat where it's gonna puddle, dry, and then crack. So um, let, let's do this.
Okay, so I spread the uh, the base paint out with a, uh, a palette knife to begin with, and then I've just blown out the uh, the colour across the canvas. And what I'm trying to do is I'm I'm basically trying to see if there is a a consistent layer. I don't want um, big puddles of paint in certain areas. I've had a design recently that I did, and I left puddles of paint on the in certain areas of the canvas and because when it dries it dries at a, a consistent rate some of the uh, the paint cracked that's because the uh, the top layer was was uh, drying at a faster rate than the bottom layer so it was just kind of cracking to kind of get that air to it to, to dry so I'm looking across the canvas now and I am going to be blowing out so I do still need some of the base paint there to make it flow um, but I don't want big clumps of paint in all the areas so I'm just making sure that I can see just with my eye that I've got a consistent uh, a consistent layer Okay, so I've just used my torch to get some of those air bubbles um, out of this this mixture. So oh, let's do it. Let's go for these colours. Okay, so I'm going to use the gold as a bit of a guide. Yeah. So I think let's start about here. I'm just going to go round down. I'm going to put some more gold on. I'm just going to use that as a bit of a guide for me for where, where I'm layering the paints. Okay, so let's go for the silver. I'm going to have some silver at the top here. And then I think I'm going to have a bit more silver here. And then some at the end. Okay. I'm going to pop some of the, the panes grey. I don't want a huge amount, but I want enough just to make an impact. Okay. I love this bronze colour. This all the way through with the gold. This is the other gold colour, the Aztec gold. Okay, just going to add a little bit more of the silver, um, nice big dollop there, and I'm going to put some more right at the beginning, that's good, and oh, let's have some more gold, okay, God, I'm ho I hope I'm not putting too much paint on here, but this gold is gorgeous, so I definitely want to put some more of that on over the top. Torch. 
I'm going to take you in for a closer look now, just so you can see how these paints are reacting with each other. Okay, so this is how I've layered the paints on the canvas. And if you have a look, you can see there's quite a mound of white paint already each side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm only going to add a little bit more. I'm going to blow those colours all over into one and then I'm going to blow it out. And what I'll do, because I can't show a full angle, I'm going to do uh, bit by bit so you can see a closer, closer version of this design. Okay, so I'm only going to add a little bit more white. I'm not going to add a huge amount because this is the white that's going to blow off the edges. I want enough white paint, the base colour, to help these other colours flow. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blow all the white paint over these colours and then blow it out in a wave, wave motion. Okay, so... You can see actually some of the um, the colours are already reacting. As I'm blowing it, it's really important that I get most of that white off because I do, don't want the white to go back over the colour, muddy it and swamp it. So I'm going to move along a little bit and carry on the design. Wow, look at this here. Look how strong these colours are. Wow, wow, wow. I'm loving this. I'm going to take you guys in for a, for a closer look. Look at some of these cells. Look at this. Show you this 
He's way up. Need to clean my edges. As you can see, there are drips all down the edges. And I'm gonna take all of those off so it doesn't pull the design off with it. But look at that rich color. I think I've done it again, guys. I think I've managed to capture the movement. I'm really happy with this color palette. I will um I will leave it there. I'm gonna just touch up the sides. I'm gonna take some of the drips off the off the sides so it doesn't pull off the design. And hopefully it's gonna dry well and I'll be coming back to you with the dried version. Okay, so here's the dried version on my wall at home. Um, I'm so happy with how it's turned out and the metallic colours help that shimmer and shine when it uh, when the light bounces off of it and it, it just, yeah, I'm really happy with this colour palette. I'm definitely going to use this again. Um, I love some of the cells and the lacing that it's it's created. That's because I've been using different branded paint. Yeah, I'm happy with this and I think I've definitely captured the movement that I wanted to. I'd love to know what you think, so please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around. So I've turned it around just so you can see a different viewpoint. Again, the, the, the movement will be in a different direction, but you can see the shimmer. Look at that shimmer and the shine with those metallic colours and the lacing and the cells that it's created. What do you think? Have you used this colour palette before? Or do you intend to? Do you intend to do something similar? I'd love to see what you create as well. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I really appreciate all the support that you give me. Have a great week ahead and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.